G'day everyone, I'm Wayne Dowson from Wayne Dowson Fine Art and here we are on location at a beautiful Lake Dunn and it's about 60 clicks from a little town called Aramac in central Queensland. Well we arrived at Lake Dunn at Aramac late in the afternoon after travelling from Bacolden and this was the lovely sunset we had after we pitched our tent and then the following morning this is what we awoke to it was absolutely spectacular beautiful morning and at Lake Dunn we met some lovely people that I'd like to say hello to Murray and Dawn and Greg and Cargo great folks anyway we walked about a k and a half 2k and spent our morning this is well before sunrise still yeah there's the sunrise so i think we got up at about 5 a.m trekked around there bird life everywhere as usual and it was a just a lovely morning lots of animals get around through the night you see lots of tracks a lot of wild pigs and emus and all sorts of things fantastic wildlife and there's our tent right on the lake we had a fantastic spot and the amenities at Lake Dunn were unreal they really were brilliant and this is the first time I'd seen this kind of bird it's called a busted and they're almost like a prehistoric terror bird that's what it reminded me of and they're about four to five feet tall and then there were heaps and heaps of emus plenty of emus they've had a fantastic wet season up north and we saw hundreds hundreds of emus not a lot of live kangaroos but we did see plenty of dead ones along the way especially between Bacolden and Aramac we saw probably a thousand dead kangaroos and of course there were cattle everywhere a lot of cattle farms there and heaps of hawks and falcons and things and this is what they do to dogs, wild dogs. It's a dingo. And string them up. Take the pelt. I think they get about 50 bucks for a dog pelt. Because there's a, it's a big problem, the wild dogs. And then we went back to camp after trekking out all day. And had an, another lovely sunset. It was really, really nice. Get a lot of wind through the day and then it just dies down. And it's lovely and peaceful. We had a fire every night. And then you just walk around and there's brogas everywhere. And here's an emu with its chicks. And that, it's normally the male emu that looks after the chicks. You can see them down by his legs in the long grass. And then we came across a wild pig. And in the foreground, that's a kangaroo. He was eating a kangaroo. And he just turned around and stood there watching the car. They're, they're feral pigs all covered in mud and there were horses everywhere like there's no fences anywhere so these guys are just walking across the road everything's just you know just goes everywhere there's 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 no fencing and stuff and like I said we saw so many emus and they are just the funniest looking bird and have a look they've got little wings that just hang down and now for something really funny. When they get to a road, they run. They run across and they are so fast. And <laughs> that one fell over. And the reason the camera's shaking is because I was just laughing my head off. And here it is in slow motion. Crash. And look how quick it gets up. And then it just it starts running and turns and looks at me like, Oh, did he see that? And they are just so quick. But they're a fantastic looking bird. I love the emus. And there'll be the emus in the paintings now. Like I said, just being influenced by what I saw whilst away. Lovely red dirt and heaps of emus and cattle grills, cattle grids. And all the wildlife and birds. And there you go, there's the red rocket. We were not afraid to take it right in the middle of nowhere. 
Some would say we were mad. And that's actually a some just a high ridge in the middle of nowhere. And there were ghost gums everywhere. And then we went back to camp and spent our last night. We had a fire, took some photos, and the following day we headed off to Mudaburra.